All right, this one's gonna be on a script for W3M to auto mark URLs uh, when you open it. So I'm just giving you an example by default here. Um, if I do W3M and let's say open a script or something, it can be a URL, doesn't matter. Uh, you'll see that we have a couple of URLs in here, but it's not really clickable, you know, to follow it with W3M. And the default hotkey to mark these URLs is uh, colon so if I hit the colon key you'll see that automatically it will detect that oh these is our uh, URLs here right HTTP links and all that and I can tab through them now right but it's really annoying if I have to do that manually every time I start you know the W3M and I gotta hit the stupid high key every time annoying so now we're gonna do it automatically uh, with this script here what's it called so this one's called uh, treat as URL dot CGI here. And we'll do the same thing to the same file here, right? But now when I open it, automatically it'll detect that, you know, all those URLs will automatically be marked. So you can see, look at that, all the uh, URLs here. I don't have to hit any hack here or anything anymore. Automatically when I open it, um, it will be automatically marked. And I dig it because uh, this was, an annoying uh, issue I had a long time ago, but out of nowhere, someone gave me the uh, oh, is that the solution to this? One of my viewers, and I'm like, oh, made my day with that because this thing was one of those annoying things I had uh, like two or three years ago, which I never figured out the solution. But out of nowhere, one of my viewers, uh, you know, gave me the solution. So I'll show you the script now that he uh, gave me here. So what we do here? So where was that this one you actually have to copy to a specific place so me an example here uh, this is the whole script it's actually a uh, bash script here and this one was sent to me by Ola Mundo and that is his YouTube page I, don't, I didn't see any other uh, social media he has uh, anything else in here so the way that you install this make sure you do uh, chmod right you need to make it executable and then you just copy it to your uh, was that your root folder? So it should be in root. Uh, was that usr lib w3m cgi bin? So you just copy this file here to uh, that location, and it has to be in root. Like I said, I try to do it in uh, the local folder. It don't work. It has to be in the root folder to for it to work. All right, and you can actually use this with you know uh, was that newsboat newsbeater too if you want. I personally don't because. Uh, I just like it the way it is and I can use like Tmux to do the other stuff but uh, uh, what I mean by Tmux is that if I can do like this me example you know and it'll automatically mark it because uh, Tmux you can do uh, capture ping to do it so that's why I don't really use the newsboat stuff but you could if you're not using you know um, Tmux and uh, it, you know, it will automatically mark all the URLs in the body of the articles if you want, right? And like I said, this one's for regular files that I demonstrated earlier. Uh, I can do the same thing with uh, URLs, right? Just make sure you have like W3M and you're gonna point to the script location. And the whole script is just this here uh, printf. Uh, real easy. I actually don't even understand what uh, th these things are doing, but that's the whole script, two lines basically and whenever you need to use it uh, like I said you know you gotta make it uh, what was that you gotta point uh, W3M and then to that script and then you know wherever file or even URLs doesn't matter and it'll automatically you know um, make the link uh, or mark the link and now it's now clickable and you can actually follow it using W3M really easy now if you want to make it more lazy we can do uh, in your bash RC or ZSHRC you can just do a uh, if statement or something like that oops I did it wrong Let's see here All right you can do like an if statement and you say if this file exists we're gonna alias uh, w3m to that script there and you know whatever file whatever you're using and then whenever you need to use it have you got anything we can do like W3M. Uh, what the hell is this? Not that. W3M mount 
Jitsu and automatically it'll run that script with using that aliases. Anyways, uh, hopefully you understood all that. Uh, if you're a WDM user, um, this thing is awesome. You should actually uh, use it because it's really annoying having to have hitting the damn hotkey every time you want to mark something is, is annoying automatically. That'd be great. And now we have the solution to it. That's it for this one.